And at this hour, battleships are in position. So how would an attack on Syria be carried out? Major General Bob Scales joins us. Good evening, sir. Hi, Greta. All right, let me go to uh, something rather blunt that you said is that, quote, correct me if I'm wrong, what we're about to do is dumb. I know of no credible defense, intellectual, or serving officer who thinks this is the right thing to do. Every sane warfighter is against this. Yep. Acts of war shouldn't be conducted to get revenge, to feel good, to elevate the international gravitas of a sitting president, to make his campaign promises and rhetorical statements in the past come true. Wars are conducted for strategic ends. You have an end state, you have a purpose, and, and, you, and tactical actions like this coming cruise missile strike on Syria, tactical actions have to culminate in some sort of strategic end. I don't know how this ends. I certainly know how it's how it's going to start. But if we're going to put the lives of our men and women at risk, we need to tell them that the purpose, the strategic end, is something else than somehow making uh, the administration feel good about retaliating to this horrible chemical attack by the Syrian army. Well, there are a couple things. One is, are we really putting our men and women at risk if they're firing a cruise missile from the Mediterranean? That's the first question. And, and may, I suppose there's a risk of something going dreadfully wrong. The second thing is, I guess, I don't know what we achieve. Are, are we trying to take our President Assad? If we do, who takes over? <laughs> what about those chemical, uh, what about those chemical weapons? So tell me, where do you fit in on this? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm concerned that, uh, uh, about risk. There's very little risk in the initial stage, but wars don't end cleanly. They certainly don't end with the delivery of 250 cruise missiles, uh, and, and that's the end of it. You know, the enemy has a vote. War is intrinsically a two-sided contest where the enemy can retaliate, and he may very well do that. He may try to shoot down our, uh, our aircraft. He may attack Israel. He may uh, use Hezbollah as a surrogate to strike the United States, either overseas or at home, with terrorist acts. Uh, this, this, the enemy is not just going to sit back and let this happen. And oh, by the way, what happens after all of these tea labs explode uh, in Syria and Assad is still standing and he's still willing to fight? The Syrian army is not the Libyan army. It's not the Serbian army. These are tough, bloodthirsty killers who have nothing to lose. And delivering 250 or so tea lambs isn't going to end this. I don't understand. Maybe it's a really stupid question, but when I asked Senator Corker, is why the Arab League, who a series of member of it, they threw Syria out, or they right. suspended him in I think November 2011 right. because of what was going on in Syria. And as you'd think that there'd be enough regional muscle that you know that wouldn't. I mean, they have a huge interest in this, and they've already taken the the action of throwing Syria out of the Arab League temporarily. Well. I, I think it's because we're involved. I mean, uh, one of the things. Why do they I've, lean on them to do it? They can't. They okay. don't. Well, they, don't have, they don't have. They don't have the military might. They don't have the command and control. They don't have the uh, the cohesion. Frankly, they don't have the military skill to go into Syria well, then that's and clean the answer. this up. I mean, that's the Absolutely. answer. Why we don't. Um, uh, what? Uh, what? So, what is our goal here? I think our goal is retaliation and vengeance. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious that the Syrian army uh, used chemical weapons. The president called that a red line, and so he feels we have to retaliate. But it's been a little weird. I mean, if you go back to the president's statements, and yeah. I have for a long time, all these predictions going back two years that, right. you know, about the Syria, you know, President Assad is on his way out. He's going, going back to May 19, 2011, um, you know, the threat about the shooting that's got to stop. Yeah. I mean, this has been going on for, um, we keep saying that he's about to leave, he's about to leave. Well, he hasn't left. <laughs> he hasn't left and in fact evidence suggests that he's getting stronger and this of course really weighs heavily on the administration uh, and not only that but the people who are fighting uh, Assad many of them don't appear to be any better than Assad so God forbid we we start an act of war uh, where we wind up aiding people who hate us I mean, I don't get this. There are no clean lines here. This is the Middle East. But we ought to be a little bit more clear in where we're going with this, because I will guarantee you that the delivery of a couple of hundred tea limbs is not going to end our involvement in this civil war. And tea limbs are the, the missiles. These are the cruise missiles the cruise I'm talking missiles. about. That's just, I thought I'd explain that for me and for <laughs> everyone else. Anyway, General Skills, always thank you, sir. Thank you, Greta.